For this video, I will be showing you how to create this effect of having a card or box expand, open and close like this. This could be useful to simulate a link being open, a post revealing its content, as well as making a box become a dialogue for example. Let's get to it. <music> First, let's understand what's going on. Spoiler alert, I'm not actually expanding the card, so here's the trick. When I click on the card, I am placing a clone of that card on top of it at the same position and location, then transitioning it to a full size to fill the view using transition only. So that's what we will be doing. This is what the HTML looks like for this. The HTML does not matter. This can work with anything, that's why it's great. You can get this code by checking the link on the description, by the way. So first, I grab all the cards and iterate through them and add a click event and passing a function I will be creating in a second. Inside this function, the first thing I do is get a reference to the card by getting the current target out of the event, which is the element the event was attached to and not where the event happened. Then I need to clone it with the clone node method. And it's important to pass the true so it copies everything inside. This is something you can choose not to do depending on what you are using this technique for. The next thing I need is the card coordination and size and I use the get bounding client rect method for that. I set those styles on the clone with a position fixed and also hide the original card by setting opacity of zero. Last thing I need to do is append it to the same container because sometimes the style of the card depends on where it is on the DOM. So I do this so the clone matches the style of the original. Now if I go to the browser, when I click, we see the clone added to the DOM and it stays exactly on top of the original. Now let's expand the card. I will do that all inside this request animation frame call so the transition is smooth. Inside, I need to set top and left to be zero, width to be 100 view width, and height to be 100 view height. You might want this to be different, so feel free to change this. Let me know if you need help in making it center in a view like a dialogue, for example. In order for it to animate, I will be setting the transition, and because this is a change on the original style, it will animate. We need transition on the width, height, left, and right, I like it ease out for 350 milliseconds. Feel free to change this as well. Now, if I check this on the browser again, it should expand on click. Notice that the content still is in the same place. So you may want to apply a different class, maybe so the card is styled different when it's expanded or change content. And this is a good point to do that. Before I move on, I just want to move this expansion logic inside a function so I can reuse it and also turn it into a promise to make it easy to use in case I want to do something after. I will also create a function for fading, which is also return a promise. And inside, I will go through all the children and use the same technique to set opacity of zero and transition. If you check the browser again, we see the content fade out while the card is expanding. Now to go back to normal, I chose to add a close button that will trigger the shrinking, but this is up to you as well, but the shrinking does not change. So on the fly, I will create a button with a custom style and position it to top right, and I will await on the expansion and append it inside a clone card after. Checking the browser again, we shall see the button appear after the full expansion. There it is. Now that we have a button and everything we need, let's do all in reverse. I attach a click event to my button, then the first thing I do is remove the button, then call toggle expansion function with the coordinates and size of the original card, and this time I set the duration to be less so the closing happens faster. After the shrinking is done, we remove the clone card and we shall check the browser again and inspect it. We see the card shrinking and the button remove and the clone is no longer in the DOM. The only problem is the content is still invisible while it's shrinking. So let's fix that with a fade function. I am going to reuse the fade function and make it the opacity to be an option you can pass. And you can change this as well to even be able to pass the easing function, which right now is set to be linear all the time. Now we just need to call it before we call the expansion function inside of unclick handler and not wait on it. So it happens while the card is shrinking. With that, we should have our full effect. There you have it, the foundation for the simple animation. To see my example, please check the link below for the source code of this video.
Once again, thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one. Bye-bye.